So welcome all to my channel again. Uh, today I'll try to present the differences in accuracy in different types and different price uh, ranges. In this case we've got four uh, combination ranges uh, with, one, uh, with one of them being ratcheting range and the rest of them uh, having opened and box and uh, range. All of them are size 17. Uh, there are different value uh, starting with the cheapest one which is few pounds per whole set uh, ending up with the Vera brand that is uh, probably over 120 pounds per set. Uh, now I will use a digital caliper to measure the uh, accuracy of open end uh, and um, I will measure it in a few different places to uh, we'll see if uh, the cheapest ones are the worst one uh, in terms of accuracy. I will also uh, weigh them, not to prove anything because they're obviously different length and probably different thickness, but just to show how uh, big differences there are between uh, branches, even though uh, size-wise they're quite similar. So let's start with that. Uh, I've got here quite accurate uh, scale that shows uh, two decimal places. So let's start with the cheapest one. It is Amtec Elite. Uh, those who live in UK know that Amtec is extremely cheap brand. Uh, so this one is 122 grams exactly. This is a JCB brand that I presented in my toolbox tour. It's 151, almost 0.1 grams. Then we've got the King Dig, made in England. This one is only 131.5. And finally the Vera brand. Now, this one has a ratcheting mechanism, so obviously it will be heavier. Uh, also, if we compare these two, you can see straight away that Vera one is longer. So it, it will definitely be heavier. I just wonder how much heavier. Yeah, it's 200 uh, grams, which is almost twice as heavy as the lightest Amtec Elite. In terms of length, there are not that big differences. So this one is uh, just about 22 and a half centimeters. A king dig is 21 centimeters, so just 1.5 centimeters shorter or just over half an inch. This one, uh, which is a JCB, is about 20.5 or 8 inches. Uh, Amtec is 21.5, so about eight and a half inches. Okay, in terms of uh, jaw thickness, let's have a look. So it's about 8.6 millimeters for the Vera brand. seven millimeters for King D. Seven point nine about seven point nine for JCB and just six point five for Amtec. So this one is the narrowest and the lightest. As you can see the handle is very narrow as well. So it's good to have it for this very uh, confined spaces that w wouldn't allow you to fit uh, slightly thicker um, ranges. Okay, let's have a look at the accuracy of Joe's. I'll try to show it as clearly as possible. Let me just focus it a little bit. Okay, this one is 17.3. Seventeen point three. So 
So here we have 17.2, 17.3, So between 17.2 and 17.36, one more time. So this one is even so closer to the base, it's now narrower, but you can say it's quite consistent. Now it jumped to 17. Point five. Okay. Okay. Let's try it this way as well. Yeah, it's quite close. Now JCB. So let's zero it out. Seventeen point two five. Seventeen point two one. Seventeen point one seven. At the end, probably will be a bit. No, oh, it's still one within that 0.2 mils, which is good result. It's close to the actual size, and it's consistent. Let's have a look at the King Dig brand. Zero it. Okay, we've got 17.5, 17.5, 17.3. And point three. Let me try again on the base. Seventeen point four. Yeah. So even though this brand is noticeably more expensive, uh, it's not as accurate as the remaining uh, cheaper two brands, JCB and Amtec. Okay. Let's have a look at the most expensive one, which is Vera brand. It's not that easy to measure. Uh, the size of these gels, as you can see, they are shaped in this star shape here for certain reason. There is a, a actual design uh, thought behind it, but let's have a look in that short, uh, flat part of the gels. So let me zero it out. And let's start here. So we've got 17.15, 17.14, and 15. Excellent accuracy, very high um, consistency, and you can see that uh, they fit the, uh, they will fit the nut uh, much better than the rest of these uh, spanners. I can uh, I can say that I'm a little bit disappointed with that made in England brand that's supposed to be uh, better because of the price and because of the reputation. Uh, the consistency is not too good uh, and definitely accuracy uh, is not great. The remaining two brands, JCB and Amtec, uh, in terms of accuracy and consistency are much better at the same time they're much well significantly cheaper than the King Dick brand Vera in my opinion in this test justified the price uh, thank you for watching if you would like to comment on it you tell me if you want to tell me that I've done something wrong here the measurements are uh, not uh, right well please uh, tell me about it Thank you.